Hey everybody and welcome to Harlow Heslop's Virtual Adventures. We are on episode three today and I am super excited about this episode because we are revamping or redoing a video that I did back in 2013 on inventory organization. Uh, the video was a hit, people really liked it, and I have gotten a lot of feedback and a lot of requests for me to redo the video here in 2020. So here we are, and I'm going to go through my inventory today and kind of show you guys around how I organize my folders. Uh, organization is super important to me. I'm a little bit OCD. You can ask any of my friends. I'm a little neurotic when it comes to things being organized and uh, not chaotic. When things get crazy in my inventory or, gosh, even in my own real life, my home, anything gets messy, I get stressed out. So um, it's helpful for me to have things organized a really certain way. Um, some other things that are super important with keeping your inventory organized is you wanna keep the number down. Um, as you can see, mine right now down here is only 29,019 items. I did have a lot more. Uh, unfortunately, about a year ago, I had some kind of glitch happen and I lost my entire home and garden folder. It was actually during one of my sorting sessions and I was doing it on a really busy sim, um, my premium Linden lab um, home up in the sky. They had just opened um, a new area of premium Linden homes. So the Sims were packed, it was super laggy, and I was making the mistake of organizing at the same time. And I don't really know what happened, but something glitched and I lost uh, my entire home and garden folder. It was 70,000 items. It was pretty brutal. I was pretty heartbroken. I have to give Linden Lab credit though, because they really worked hard to try and recover my folder for me. Unfortunately, I had already cleared my trash and cleared my cash and um, there was just no way to recover it. So I give you the disclaimer that when you are sorting your inventory and organizing, make sure that you're doing it on a very low lag sim, away from a bunch of people, away from a bunch of other objects. I recommend doing a platform in the sky somewhere. Um, if you don't have personal land, uh, ask a friend if you can borrow some sky space or go to a sandbox that's very low lag, very empty. Um, I would hate to see the same thing happen to you guys. It was really devastating to lose that many items. And um, it's just really important that you're careful when you're inventory sorting because um, you don't want to lose a bunch of stuff like I did. So again, mad props to Linden Lab. They really worked hard to try and get my stuff back. And um, you know, with technology, things happen, glitches happen, mistakes happen. So um, just be really careful when you guys are sorting your inventory. Um, and again, like I was saying with the numbers, I kind of got off on a tangent there, but um, make sure you keep your number of items in your inventory as low as possible. Uh, make sure you're deleting out old things that you don't want anymore or box them up. Um, I box things up that are special to me that I just can't part with. But if you keep your um, elements number low right down here, as you can see, uh, again, I'm at like almost 30,000. But if you keep it low, it helps keep uh, your performance um, at a better level here in Second Life. I know the higher your inventory number is, the more lag you experience, the more problems you can experience. I know some people that are over like 150,000 items, um, they experience a lot of glitches and problems. So keeping that number low will help make your performance better um, in Second Life. At least that is what I've been told. I don't know if that's a rumor, but I have always experienced um, a better performance um, with my lag and movement and just in general uh, when my inventory is more organized and a lower number. So uh, keep that in mind when you're sorting. Again, boxing things up really helps to keep things um, tidy and organized. Uh, if you're like me, you box it up and then quite honestly, you never open it again. I could probably delete my boxes and not miss them. But um, anyway, before we get started again, I um, my inventory is not perfect. It's pretty messy right now still. There's some folders I still need to sort, but I really wanted to get this video out to you guys. And um, with it not being perfect, it gives me a chance to kind of show you things that I want to change or do differently. So um, I break my uh, folders into um, subfolders. So I start off with a main folder that's got brackets around it in all caps. So um, you'll go through and you'll see that all of my stuff that's a main folder is 
like this and has the brackets around it. I do this because uh, it makes it easier to search certain things because I can put a bracket in front of it. So say you come in here and let's say in Home and Garden, you, oh, I need to see, look, I messed this up. These should be brackets. But say in Home and Garden, I'm looking for um, some party supplies and my inventory is closed and I need to get to my party supplies uh, quickly. I can put a bracket and put party in front of it and it immediately pulls up that folder. The bracket really helps in the search to find that main folder I'm looking for. And there, ta-da, pulls it up. Got all my party supplies here. Um, and then I break down my subfolders inside those folders <laughs> into uh, categories with little dashes by it. So say in my party supplies, I'm looking for my balloon folder specifically. I can put a dash balloons and it pulls up that folder very easily for me. Uh, just makes it handy when you're trying to search for something quickly. I can kind of go through uh, how I have broken down my folders for you guys and I'll try and go slow uh, that way you guys are able to follow along if you're wanting to kind of mimic this for your own inventory. Um, uh, but feel free to pause the video at any time and kind of take a screenshot of my inventory and how I've set anything up if it's going to help you get yours sorted and organized. So in my body parts folder, or actually let's start with my animations. So in my animations, I've broken it down into my AOs, uh, breather poses, uh, couples dances. These huddles AOs are an old school um, dance HUD that I've had forever and then I break down all of my different dances um, into different categories here so all my HUDs are in folders so I can find them very quickly got my silly dances and just some random solo dances here this folder is not very exciting <laughs> my body parts uh, I've broken this down into various categories so here I've got different avatars um, that I can change into I don't use those very often but hard to part with them my bodies I have got three bodies currently I got a couple that are boxed up but these are the three I use most often I've got my Maitreya Lara my Legacy Perky and Legacy Classic so it's very easy for me to find the different bodies that I want quickly Mesh ears, I've got a few, a few of them, mandala, random matter, and my yummy ears. Eyes, I break down into categories of different systems. So say I wanna use the Katwa mesh eyes, I've got them here. I've got fantasy eyes that I can use for different types of looks, like if I want zombie look or some kind of different supernatural look, they're all in here. Um, and then all my realistic um, eyes are in here. Hair is a category that I'm a little neurotic about. Um, I have broken it down in by style. So I have all my different accessories here. So different headbands, tiaras, all kinds of stuff like that. And then um, different types of braided styles. So a side braid, which is what I'm wearing right now. It's in this folder. Uh, a braided that goes down the back of my neck, a pony. I've got different lengths of hair that are down. So my long, medium, and short. Half up styles, different hats, headbands down, headbands with updos, uh, piggy tails I have broken down into braids, buns, and down piggies. And then my ponytails are long, short, and a side pony. I've got different unique looks. I know I've got like hair rollers or wet hair in here. And then updos or buns are in this folder. So I know it's a little overkill, but honestly, like if you're looking for a specific style for an outfit, it's very easy to find your stuff. My head folder is really uh, lame right now because I box up all my old heads because I pretty much know I'm probably never going to go back to the old head that I was wearing. So right now I just have my Leilutka Nova head in there. Um, all my other other heads, all my other heads are boxed up in my boxed folder, which we'll get to in a little bit. Uh, layers, especially with baked on mesh now or bomb, I am I have broken them down into body layers and head layers. Uh, my body layers include um, like environments, so like sand, uh, different water layers, my freckles and moles, uh, different hair layers, shine layers, all my skins go in this folder. I've got some uh, spank layers or wounds and bruises and scratches and all my tattoos have their own folder. My head layers have different makeups, brows, eyes, freckles, um, different HUDs and relays that I need, my lips folder, uh, different makeup sets. So like a good example is I'm obsessed with the Identity Faces um, Liletka 
palette. So in here, since they've got both eyes and lips, I've made their own folder with makeup sets. This is just miscellaneous items. Nails, um, you can find uh, all the different nails that I wear with my body. The private parts have their own folder. Um, I, my different Omega hoods I put in this. So if I need a relay system for something, I've got them there. Physics layers, which I use on occasion, I've got those here. And my various shapes that I wear, I've got here. Calling cards, I had a bunch that, I clear these out every once in a while. I don't really know what the calling cards really do. You would think after being here a decade, I'd know that, but I had a ton of them just out of the normal friends folder today. So I deleted them. That's why I, uh, I cleared my trash before I started because I, I don't really know what they're for. Um, so I guess it's an easy way to pull up information or the profile for your friends, but I just look at my friends list and find them that way. So I find them a little useless. If you guys know of anything useful that the calling cards are used for, I would love to hear in the comments because to this day, I don't think I've ever used one. Uh, my clothing. So I break my clothing into various categories. I've got my accessories. So in here, I've got various attachments. So um, like different floaty attachments, body attachments, um, pets that attach to me, writable attachments, um, different things for your mouth, your hands. Just an easy way to find different accessories when I'm looking for them. I've got different bags in here, handbags, uh, clothing appliers, eye patches, glasses, headphones. All my jewelry goes in its own folder. Um, I've got like my chokers and collars in one, piercings, necklaces, full sets have their own folder. Different masks, which are great if you're like, hey, there's a masquerade party, what masks do I have? Right now I don't have too many, but pull those up. Um, I've got a whole pride folder because pride month is like my absolute favorite myself. So I have all kinds of pride stuff, robes and kimonos, scarves, and my wings. Bottoms I break down into various categories. So cargo pants, flared pants, my jeans, leggings, shorts I've broken down into different categories of shorts. I've got comfy shorts, denim shorts, sporty shorts, all kinds of stuff in there. I actually have a couple things I need to sort in here into folders. My skirts I break down into folders as well, just so if I'm needing a specific type of skirt, say I want a denim mini skirt, I know exactly to go to my denim folder here slacks or fancy pants and sweats and joggers have their own folder costumes say i'm going to a costume party or need a different theme i've got all kinds of different themes here uh, everything from my gamer girl look to 80s clothing a cat look angel and devil <laughs> some goofy onesies in here i got mermaid stuff so that breaks all that down my dresses, I kind of like my hair folder. I got overly neurotic about my dress folder. Um, I break it down by style again. So I've got ball gowns, bodycon dresses. Um, I don't need to go down the whole list as you can see it here, but mini and club, off the shoulder. Um, I've got two piece dresses, some sundresses, all kinds of different things. So if I'm looking for a specific style, it's very easy for me to come in here and just click on these to find what I'm looking for. Lingerie, I break down into a variety of different styles as well. Um, I've got like baby dolls, uh, my fishnets and stockings go in here, different sets, my robes, pajamas I put in this folder as well. Got overalls and rompers. You would think I would not need separate folders for these, but I actually have a shameful number of rompers. Like, does one need this many rompers? Who knows, but I do. Separates. This is like stuff that is like two piece items that I just didn't really know where else to put them. So they go there. Shoes I break down into um, various categories. All means that they come in all of the different or a handful of the different um, feet shapes. So high, flat, mid. All my flat shoes um, I break down into different styles. So ballet flats, flat boots, dressy flats, flip flops, rain boots that got my sneakers in there as well got my high shoes so my high feet different pumps and platforms and boots wedges uh, slippers I've got a lot of different random slippers in here socks and leg warmers and then I have a special folder with just unique stuff like leg wraps ballerina slippers just stuff that doesn't really fit in other folders 
Swimwear I break down into bikinis or one pieces, pretty standard and simple there. And then tops I break down into different categories um, like sweaters, jackets, halters. Uh, my cropped, I wear a lot of crop tops in SL, so I break them down into various styles of crop tops. Um, so that gives you kind of an understanding of that. And that is my clothing folder. Uh, current outfit, we don't really need to go over favorites or just the different favorites I have um, landmarked. Gestures, I need to organize. They're a mess. So we won't even go into that, but I should organize those. Like I said, I don't really keep any landmarks. Just they clutter up my inventory and I rather just search for items, personal preference. Um, so that folder stays empty. I try to clear out my lost and found as often as possible so I can keep up on things. Note cards, I break down into three different categories. I've got um, borough, company, all my borough information that's important to me goes in here. Um, just sweet things from my SL partner I put in here, important little conversations or sweet things he said. And then um, important documents or important note cards with information that I need to keep, I keep in there. My objects folder. Um, I, a lot of people keep their random folders underneath their trash. And I'm gonna tell you why I don't do that because it is very, very easy to accidentally drag one of your folders that are down here into your trash folder. I used to keep all of my object folders below my trash. Um, and then I realized that it was just too easy for stuff to accidentally end up in your trash can. So all of my really important stuff I keep in my objects folder and I've broken it down into various categories. I've got my boxed. So anything I have boxed up from old <laughs> items, 2019, um, anything I box up, I try to do a boxing session once every six months or so, just get rid of a bunch of stuff that I know I'm not going to need anymore or, well, not, not to say I won't need anymore things. I just know I'm not going to use very often anymore, but I'm too sentimental to part with. They get boxed up. Bro, I've got all my different bro, uh, professional items in here. Um, don't really need to go into detail here. It's just how I keep organized my business. My fun folder is just goofy stuff like pogo sticks or random vehicles or funny bumpers or just random fun items that people have passed me that I just don't want to part with. My home and garden folder, <laughs> I've been rebuilding this over the last year. Like I said, I had about 70K items in this. Um, I am now at about 9,000 items as I rebuild what I once had. Um, I break this down into various categories. I actually need to sort these a little bit more soon, but um, my decor folder is crazy. Um, I break it down into a bajillion different items. Um, some of the ones on here, like arts and crafts items, astronomy, tarot, witchcraft, all my bathroom and spa, so like makeup sets or bathroom or spa or like vanity clutter goes here. I even have a folder for bird cages because apparently I have a ton of bird cages. So blankets and pillows. Uh, this is nice because I have like baskets that have blankets and pillows in them various blankets that go in the house and then lots and lots of different pillows that I like uh, decorative pillows books and magazines I break down into different categories um, I even do like rows or stacks that way if I'm decorating and I'm like okay I know I want a stack of books right on this table I can easily go to my stacks of books and find one that I have to put out candles I break down into cluster different instances solo stick or wall candles uh, you'd be surprised how <laughs> quickly that folder got unorganized, which is why it has subfolders now. I really like my candles, ceiling fans, um, lots of different things, clothing and bags that are not wearable. So just different items that are for dec decor only. Containers, I break down into various container items. So like pottery, crates, boxes, bottles. This has been super helpful for when I'm searching for something specific. Even have a suitcase and hat boxes, shopping bags, all kinds of stuff in there. Curtains and blinds, dining um, accessories, dividers and privacy screens. As you can see, there's a lot of stuff in here. My favorite folder of all, my houseplant folder. Uh, I have cactuses and succulents, floor plants that sit on your floor, different flowers, hanging baskets, plant stands, sprigs, 
um, tabletop plants, terrariums, and then I have a unique folder that's just a bunch of random unique pots and such. Um, some other items to look at in here. Uh, my lighting folder I break down. This is like all my different lamps and any like lightable item. So I've got like chandeliers, floor lamps, hanging lamps, and my lanterns, different sconces, string lights, and tabletop lamps. See, I even have a man cave folder for like manly items that don't really fit anywhere else, but would be good in like a man cave or a men's office. Um, different mannequins and busts. Uh, recreational is uh, like sports items. My party supplies. So if I'm throwing a party for somebody, I know where to go to find all my party supplies, office decor, musical items. I've got a bunch of different um, uh, instruments and music items different sound effects so if I'm working on my sims oops sorry if I'm working on my sims I can um, find different sounds table frames are just tabletop frames that I can put photos in various tabletop items so knickknacks treasures that I like to put out as decor technology is like computers and and all that kind of stuff telephones Tobacco and drugs speaks for itself. Got ashtrays, like a hookah in there, I think. Um, different trays. So if I'm decorating and I need a tray to put stuff on, I can find it in here. And then my wall folder, um, I have broken down neurotically <laughs> into different categories. So I have like my artwork, collage and clutter, uh, framed words, leaning items, marquees, neons, all kinds of stuff in here, various signs and tapestries. I even have a taxidermy folder. Um, so lots of different things in there. That pretty much breaks down the decor folder. Uh, my food and drink, this is a favorite folder of mine. Um, I break this down into various food and drinks. So I've got like alcohol, appetizers, my baked goods I break down even further. Um, cookies, cakes, cupcakes, all kinds of stuff. This folder always makes me hungry. Beverages, I've got hot and cold folders, breakfast items, burgers, candy, uh, a cheese folder. I mean, everyone needs a cheese folder, right? Surprisingly, only have two items in there right now. What is wrong with me? I need more cheese on a cell, apparently. Chinese food, my coffee folder obviously is probably just filled to the brim with coffee items. Different cutting boards with food, fast food, I've got a food truck folder, grocery bags and baskets, fruit and vegetables, ice cream and milkshakes. Kitchen is just basically kitchen decor, so appliances, clutter, dishes, hanging pot racks. Mexican food, pasta, picnic items, pizza, everybody needs a pizza folder. Uh, salad, sandwiches, you can see everything there. So I got a tea folder as well. Full sets are like full complete sets that I bought. Um, obviously it's all my DRD stuff, but I bought all these random sets that um, have so much in them that I was like, where am I gonna put these? And this was the perfect spot for them. Furniture, I break down into different rooms or items. So I've got like my bathroom, bedroom, bookcases and cabinets, closets, uh, kink items. So if you're into anything adult related, I have another folder for that. Laundry, office stuff, my seating and my tables, I break down into different stuff. So seating, I've got different types of seating. So say I need a hanging chair somewhere, I've got a folder for it or an office chair or a shell back chair even. I've got a folder, wing back. And then tables, I break down into cafe style tables, coffee, console tables, which I love decorating with console tables. I have way too many. <laughs> Dining, side tables, and I even have a folder for some vanity tables. My outdoor items are broken down into decor, furniture, and landscape. So I can find all my different outdoor decor in here different uh, beach decor, butterflies and bugs, city items, coastal and water decor, fog, uh, different outdoor lighting, paths and roads, piers and docks, pools and accessories. I've got a bunch of stuff in there. Lots of different folders here for you to look at. Furniture, I break down into like outdoor dining sets, hammocks, seating sets and tables. And my landscape items, I've got a beach building folder, bushes and shrubs, flowers, different ground cover, ivies and vines, uh, planters, petals and leaves, rocks and cliffs, 
uh, various types of ruins, surrounds for the sims, topiaries, trees, tropical items, water plants, and water items. Structures are basically just uh, buildings or architecture. So I've got this all broken down into different categories. I've got barns, beach house, cabins, city items, cottages. And, um, actually, look, I have two cabin folders. I need to sort those apparently. Didn't realize that. Gazebos and cabanas, different greenhouses, lighthouses. It just makes it easier for me to find my various architecture items. And then my themed folder. So this is super helpful if a um, holiday is around the corner and I'm like, I need to get all my Easter stuff out or all my Halloween stuff. I've got folders for that. My beach and nautical folder has been super helpful because say I'm decorating like a coastal uh, cottage, I can easily find my beach and nautical items in there. Bohemian Christmas items I keep all in one folder. I've even got a pride folder. Like I said, I love my pride stuff. So lots of different rainbow items in there. Pride themed. Retro items, Valentine's Day, uh, winter, autumn, all kinds of stuff. My photography folder is basically just all of my photography related um, items. So I've got my backdrops, uh, couples poses, friends poses, different lighting effects. Uh, I have a poses to blog photo <laughs> folder. Sorry, uh, I've been talking for too long. Um, a poses to blog folder. So various poses that I would really like to do a picture with in the future and I haven't got around to it different photo props, solo poses. These are my photo stands. So I put all of my different stands um, in here and different photo tools as well. My tools folder uh, just has oops, various items, um, like gift cards I need to use, greeters, shopping huds, different teleporting tools, tip jars, all of that. Just basically um, important items that I need to utilize. That mostly goes over everything. Photo album is obviously just pictures. My textures, um, I try to keep this folder cleared out as best as possible. Right now I've just got important ones to keep. Uh, my connect system, which I haven't used in forever. It's a texture organizer and then different ground textures. Um, so yeah, that is pretty much a deep look inside my inventory. If you are still watching, I'm very impressed. Uh, give yourself a gold star. A couple other tips that you guys may want. Um, I do not keep random note cards that I know I don't need. I delete them out. That'll help keep your number down. Uh, I don't keep various like unpacking scripts. I don't keep landmarks as I told you guys. Uh, I do not keep... Um, Gosh, there's a lot of just random things that are in folders that designers send you, which has informative information, but if it's not something that you need or you're gonna use, I get rid of it. Another thing I do, which I guess is a little controversial, is I delete out uh, the body styles I'm not gonna use in my clothing. So I'm not gonna call any specific body out, but there are specific bodies I just know that aren't my style. So I will go through and delete out those layer or those uh, objects in those folders. So say I buy a really cute outfit from Adams or Blueberry or any of those places, Avani, just lots of different stores. Um, I'll go through and be like, okay, I don't want this body. So I'll delete it out. Uh, super helpful. Uh, if you want a quick way to delete some of that stuff, you can say you want to go and delete um, various note cards that you don't need. I can go in here and hit note card under filter, hit expand, and it's going to expand all of my note cards. So I don't really personally need these like information on the baked on meshes that Izzy sent me or I bought from Izzy's. Um, so I go through and I can delete these. Just be careful you're not deleting the actual folder. So once you go through and delete the note cards that you know you don't need, you can collapse, you can go back to all types, go here, go to your trash, make sure there's nothing other than your note cards that you wanna get rid of and empty trash. When I'm sorting, I empty trash often, but I check it carefully before I empty it because I don't want to lose any items by mistake. Um, so yeah, 
I think that covers uh, most of the inventory organization. Like I said, I think it's really important to keep your inventory as organized and a low a number as possible so that uh, you have just better performance in general when you are exploring the grid. I guess one thing I didn't touch base on is the received items folder. As you can see, I keep it cleared out. These are all items you get from Marketplace. Um, I tend to uh, go through them as quickly as possible and put them where they go in the folder. Uh, one thing I do on occasion too is if I feel like my inventory is starting to get a little bit behind, I make a put away folder. So I'll go into my objects. I'll do this. I'll say put this stuff away ASAP to remind myself. And say I go on a little shopping binge somewhere, I'll drag all that stuff into this folder. And one, I know where all my new stuff is. And two, I know it's stuff I need to put away as quickly as possible. So I'm sure now after watching this video, you guys think I am totally neurotic and OCD and crazy, but I assure you, it really does help to have an organized inventory. Um, it's easy to find items and it just makes life a little less stressful. So if anybody has any questions or suggestions, I would love to hear them in the comments. If there's anything that I so blatantly miss, please uh, jump on me. I'm happy to answer any questions you may have and uh, take any tips and advice you may throw my way. Thanks so much for watching. Again, if you made it this far, you totally get a gold star today. And I look forward to talking to you guys soon.